I'm Donna Bertolino, former Lawrence Historical Commission member and current Lawrence School Committee member. Today, in the Lawrence World War I project, we remember James Higgins. James Higgins was born in Lawrence, Massachusetts on August 1, 1887 to Mary and Michael Higgins. He was their second of five children, attended the local public schools, and graduated from Lawrence High School. Higgins lived with his family at 16 Berkeley Street, worked at the Eagle Tribune, and then was a salesman for the National Cash Register Company. Higgins was drafted on February 26, 1918, spent two weeks training at Camp Devons, two weeks training at Camp Upton, and then left for England on April 6th. He was assigned to a machine gun company with the 308th Infantry of the 77th Division, and upon arriving in England, received additional formal training with British troops. Upon completing the training, Higgins and his regiment crossed the English Channel to France and traveled to the town of baden Bidet in the Baccarat sector. Here they saw their first combat action as they replaced tired French troops. By the end of July, the division moved to the Vale sector 100 miles away, where intense trench fighting continued. The Americans successfully pushed the Germans back, and by August 10th, they were loaded on trucks and on the move again. This time, they arrived near ferron tadenois They faced mustard gas bombardments, and during the fighting in this sector, his division lost nearly a third of its personnel. In Higgins' letters home, he wrote that he was often in the trenches, and the conditions of the trenches were often horrible. Not only were there American forces battling the enemy, they were also battling the Spanish flu. In fact, the American expeditionary forces lost more soldiers from the 1918 flu epidemic than from combat. Higgins died from the flu near the front lines on August 18th, and he is buried in France at the Meuse Argonne American Cemetery. Besides their son James, Michael and Mary, like many other Lawrence families, had other sons serve in the war. Arthur, William, and Leo Higgins all served their country admirably and returned to Lawrence at the war's end. In 1925, the Lawrence City Council voted to dedicate a square at the intersection of Jackson, Bruce, and Corner Street to his memory. I'm Donna Bertolino. Thank you for watching the Lawrence World War I Project.